What's up, y'all? It's Mel, and welcome back to It's Mel, baby. How y'all doing out there tonight? Y'all good? I'm good. Um, today, as you saw from the title, I have a special haul for y'all. Because, yeah, I could break it up. But, it's, it's just not worth it. So, um, I'm just going to do my haul all together. Um, today we went to the mall. Well, one of my malls that I like to go to. And we went to Aldi's, Five Below, Target, and Shoe Carnival. So, and well. Oh yeah, we did go to Dollar Tree. So, this is all these Dollar Tree, Five Below, Target, Shoe Carnival Hall. So let's start. Uh, I'm gonna do that haul, but not necessarily in that order. I'm gonna do it how it comes out the bag. Wow, I hope that don't affect my video. You didn't see that big pause? Mm -hmm. Well, let's start. Shoe Carnival. I brought these shoes. They're not for me. Even though I was looking for them in my size. I brought these, the Reebok pants. These mugs is fucking cold. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I know I kind of got it big. That's the back of it. The sole. I know it's kind of big. You still got your socks on, boy? Me? Curtis, no way. You can't even fit this on your toes. I know it's big because it's right now it, they have him. It's big, but it's probably not going to be too big. Right now they have him in the two and a half or two. And he's been in there too for over a year. They're just not facing reality. They want him to get the most for their money. Well, bitch, buy him a bigger shoe. Instead of buying him his exact size when you buy the shoe. Him, what sock you got on? Okay, here. Try this one on. Excuse me for a minute. I like them too. They fit. They got like a little set that you Let me see. Yeah. Uh, put your foot right there. Wait, this your toe right here? Mm -hmm. That I'm pressing on? Mm -hmm. Are you shitting me? My finger is on your toe. Raise yeah. your toe up. Oh, wow. You know what that mean, right? That's a size three. And you fit it like that. So you know what that means, right? I got a big That means you need to tell your mama, mama, I wear a three. Alright. Stop putting me in these damn tools so I can walk on my toes. I ain't gonna say all that. I know, I'm just saying. You wear a three. Yeah. He has literally a little room in this three. And they got him wearing a size two. I already knew that dude. Because when I took him last year, he was right on the two then. But, of course, I guess that's why his feet growing slow. Because they try to keep him in them little bitty shoes. Wow. 
And you wanna know what's the sad part about that? A three costs the same as a two. Okay then y'all. Y'all see the shoe carnival haul. I got my baby some shoes because uh when we take him with us, his shoes be too small for him to want to walk. So I got him some shoes that thick. He lazy, but I'm going to make you walk. You's going to walk. You're not a baby. You's going to walk. And when he had, when he went to the store with us the other day, he was like, I, I got to sit down. My feet hurt. My back hurt. Boy, if you don't just... Okay, now I guess I'm going on the oldies because that's what's hitting me. I got a red bell pepper. Oh, yo, and these mugs were a steal because they were only 40 bucks. And whereas the all white ones like this was $55. I, I was like, wow, are they serious? But yes, they were. So, my red bell pepper, my bag of salad, I got another avocado, I got some mandarins, and two limes. These mandarins were only two something a bag. And it's a full little bag. They said three pounds. But that little sucker full. Got that. I got pork rib tips. The smallest pork roast in the world. This is a boneless pork sirloin roast. They were two ninety nine a pound, and this one is a little under two pounds. I only paid three forty for it. Y'all like what you looking for? Because I know I got more things from all this, but they under my other bags. I got some fresh ginger. And last but not least from oldies, I got a bag of onions. I needed that. We like onions in my house. And uh, don't judge me. I literally counted onions in the bag before I picked up a bag. Because most of the bag had six onions in it. But they weren't really the size that I wanted them. Like, they were all these nice size onions. But I be needing paquitos sometimes. So, okay. That is my oldie song. Huh, move. Come get your shoes, boy. Leave it there. You don't have too much move. Hmm? Uh, hmm. That's dollar shoe. But I'm going to wait on that one. Being as though, you know, I'm going to be putting this up on dollar shoe money. What you took in my bag for? You couldn't left it there. What's no wrong with it being there? You assault my bed for nothing. What? Don't do it. Don't do it, man. I'll get there. You heard me? I'll get there. Just, just, just. Now, nah, I didn't get too much in Target. 
completely. This is, I didn't get too much in Target, but I, they had my roast beef. Had to get that. Because, yes, sometimes I sit up late at night in the dark eating roast beef and watching television. I really do. I know I, it sounds like a joke or however, but I really do. I sit up at night in the dark eating roast beef and cheddar cheese. I do. Watching American Dad or Beaver. And I got them Swiss rolls. Because my baby came here yesterday, the other day, and he was a Astounded that I didn't prepare for him. He was like, Well, you know, I was coming. Where are the snacks? And I was like, Here go your snack. You pick a finger. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got these Swiss rolls and roast beef at Tokyo. Now, should I do the five below bag first or less? Hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to set it right there for now. Yes, I finally used my little uh, Gogu bag. I had to pull the tags and everything off it. Don't judge me. Okay. Hmm. I guess we're moving on to the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm going to show you what I went to Dollar Tree for. And I'm going to show you what I got. <laughs> Wow, did she really tie these bags? <coughs> damn. Like, damn, you ain't had to tie them all like that. She tied these ones like they loose, but this plastic be rolling, you know what I'm saying? I was looking for my scissors. But we just gonna do it like this. Let's see. Can I find out what I went to Dollar Tree for in this bag? Yes, I can. Now, this is what I went to Dollar Tree for. When I was growing up, it was called a do rag. Now, they called it a rat cat. And I was like, huh? But it's called a rat cap now. So if you go to Dollar Tree and you're looking for a do-rag, they now call it a rat cap. Some Dollar Trees do still have do-rags, we just didn't go to that one. <laughs> um, had to give me some more socks. My family get a kick out of it. They be talking about, toast the ball, Ricky. And I be like, <laughs> pick one. <laughs> so, uh, got me two more long black pair of socks. I got this. So I can review with Lonzo, but I know I reviewed this with Curtis. He told me he has never had a coffee cake. Now, they call this um, a cinnamon crumb cake bite. But it is this is a coffee cake. So me and Lonzo are gonna try that out. I got me some. Honeycomb bread muffins. We've also reviewed that on this channel. I enjoyed them, though. 
you know, put them in a the microwave, maybe dab a little butter, or run it through the toaster and let it get toasty, and slap it with a little butter. Mm, mm, mm. Kids should be amazed that I even eat cornbread. Like, that's too country. Don't eat the cornbread. No, I love cornbread. I got an alcohol. I got a bottle of alcohol. Got two sponges. I don't know if you're ready for that, but I got it. Even though I am at war with Coca-Cola, I went on here and got the regular Coke. Because my baby be crying. You got cherry Coke. I can't drink cherry Coke with you. What am I going to do? These little kids nowadays are just extreme. They're extreme. They're fucking dramatic. Yes, I had to put the F-bomb in there. They are extremely dramatic. And last but not least, I have an item for me and Lonzo to review because when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I could not believe my eyes. Then when I saw the size, I really could not believe my eyes. Yo. It's called Nutter Stick. But it's their version of Nutella. At the Dollar Tree, y'all. So, we gonna have to try that and see what they working with. Cause, he loves some Nutella. Is this my receipt from you? Yep. And it was a dollar twenty-five. Wow. Yeah, we gonna peep that one out. My, my Dollar Tree haul this week was only $12.31. How much was yours, Keisha? Oh, Keisha brought more at Dollar Tree than mail? Well, I'll be to a rooster. Yo, on our way home, there was a, a road kill, and I was like, Wow, they didn't even, they must have hit his body with the car or something. He don't even look like he was hit. I said, yo, we could go back and get us some roadkill stew. And it was like, no, no, no. It was a big healthy raccoon, yo. What? What? What by myself? Eating it? Yes. Well, why you could, why you eat my rabbits then? You know they're the same animal. At least, at least they don't get, get killed though. You kill them, you put them in the pot. Put a roll. No, they are killed before I put them in the pot. Mm -hmm. Do it matter how they get dead? No, it don't. So we gotta go hunt for a fat raccoon. I'm, I'm, I'm. I saw Kermit. Uh. Kermit Ruffin do a, a raccoon stoop. And I said, you know what? My people from the country, but they ain't, they were never that country. I'm going to have to try a me a raccoon stoop. But from my understanding, they wasn't that country in my era of me growing up. Because my uncle told me they love raccoon. They, they love that coon. They love that squirrel. And I'm like, And after I'm over the initial shot, well, how do you prepare that? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, well, yeah, twelve dollars at Dollar Tree, seventeen dollars at Oldies. Oh, why nobody didn't tell me? I forgot to find my loop. Let's get on with that. And they didn't even tell me. And they sitting right here with me. 
I spent the most getting his shoes, but Five Below wasn't no hope either. I got a lot. I know why I like going to Five Below. I like going to Five Below because it gives me the opportunity to get review shit. <coughs> I brought this here for my baby. It's called Kimberly Rose. Don't ask me, she picked it, I brought it. They got these Dinamita sticks from Doritos Hot Honey Mustard. Then I brought this Leverland Crunch Wasabi Seaweed. Some strawberry sour patches. I don't know what you're dancing like that for. All happy and stuff. I'm not just on my just, soda. Yeah, blame it on the soda. You just naturally happily dancing and assuming. I brought this for my son. Here, son. It's a chili cheese Coney Slim Jim. I brought that for him. So. Uh, and all these other few things in my hand, I brought for us to review. And this is why I love the five below. Not only did I get these diner sticks, he over there dancing. I got some tiny particle, particles of pure sour. They're by uh, Toxic Waste. They call them atoms. And they're in lemon, strawberry, blue raspberry. We got that to try. Wow. We got these uh, Harry Potter candies to try. I'm not going into detail because he's standing over there dancing at everything I see. Let's just know they're Harry Potter candies. Okay. Then I got these Cyber Punch Bites. Um, it's called Pickle Roulette. Which means not all of them but some of them got pickle fights in them. So you eat your sour and you like, oh, it's good candy, and it be pickle. And we got this slime liquor. Strawberry sour fill chocolate bar. And when I saw this show, when I was over there looking for the uh, the little thing for my son, the little uh, meat stick thing, when I saw this, I went, what you say? I got to get this. We gonna have to review it. Dr. Pepper flavored meat stick. And there it is. That is my last item. Oh wait. Yeah, Catch them bags. Mm -hmm. And this here is my last item. I did not purchase it, but I procured it. No, I did not steal it from the store. And all these bags. And it's, it's a nice size bag. 
and it was only a dollar seven. So there you have it. That is my OD Five Below Dollar Tree Shoe Carnival Target haul. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay safe. Y'all have a good one. Have fun with your family and friends, but responsibly. Till next time, y'all. Peace, love, and hair grease. And thank you. And I appreciate y'all. Till next time, peace, love, and hair grease. And I'm out.